Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. Hey folks, so I was recently in Seoul, South Korea, and I headed to the fish market, and I was surprised to see them selling rockfish. Now, this looks quite similar without the side fins, to the stonefish that you get around the world, which has one of the most deadly and toxic venoms of any species worldwide. Now, it seems like they have the same spikes and I think they're related, but I couldn't get a clear answer on if this one is as deadly as the stonefish, but the way that they fillet them is almost the same. So I wanted to show you how they kill it, clean it, and get it ready for sashimi. So taking a look, we looked at a couple of different sizes. These were relatively cheap. The small one was about $15. That's the one we took. As she opens up the fin, that's where the needles are that deliver the venom. If you were to step on that, it shoots a spurt of venom up like a foot in the air, and it's extremely toxic. So having chosen it, the woman took it over, killed it with a spike straight to the head, and then you can see she uses a big knife to cut off those spikes. If this were the really poisonous stonefish, with those spikes gone, the delivery method for the venom is now gone and it's safe to handle. So she opens it up, cleans it out, then rinses it, and then hands it to the filleter who goes through his process. So let's let him do that in real time. <laughs> Touching? No, it's the bones. <laughs> you tell him I traveled all the way here just to watch him do this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole process only took a, a minute or two and then they served it all up to us and we went upstairs in the market to eat it the traditional way with a bit of soy sauce and wasabi and I have to say it was delicious I've never had it in sashimi before but one of the best I've ever had Please do like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more travels as I go around the world in my constant search for the world's best seafood.